Phylogenetics falsifies evolution. 2. A single tree of life is one of the core predictions of naturalistic mega-evolution. However, this prediction has been falsified by the scientific evidence. In this video, we present quotes from scientists who, as far as we know, do believe in evolution. However, the fossil record and genetic evidence falsify this core prediction of evolution, a universally congruent single tree of life. And so, this falsifies naturalistic mega-evolution. Quote, Phylogenetic incongruities can be seen everywhere in the universal tree, from its root to the major branchings within and among the various taxa to the makeup of the primary groupings themselves. Carl Woese, The Universal Ancestor, Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, USA, 1998. Quote, Given the robustness of the molecular phylogenies, these results indicate that little confidence can be placed in phylogenies generated solely from higher primate craniodental evidence. The corollary of this is that existing phylogenetic hypotheses about human evolution are unlikely to be reliable. Accordingly, new approaches are required to address the problem of hominin phylogeny. More problematically, the tests suggest that such analyses can strongly support phylogenetic hypotheses that are misleading. In other words, cladistic analyses of higher primate craniodental morphology may yield not only false positive results, but false positive results that pass, by a substantial margin, the statistical test favored by many researchers. If anything, it is likely that extrapolating from the results of the present study to the results of hominin cladistic studies overestimates the reliability of the latter since we did not account for two factors that routinely complicate analyses of the hominin fossil record, namely uncertain species identification and intraspecific morphological change through time. M. Collard, B. Wood, How Reliable Are Human Phylogenetic Hypotheses? Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, USA, 2000. Quote, Most groups of organisms are best visualized as highly complex phylogenetic bushes. In large parts of the natural system, it is impossible to demonstrate that one particular taxonomic sequence is superior to other alternatives. Emer, The Growth of Biological Thought, Diversity, Evolution, and Inheritance, 1982. Quote, Incongruence among phylogenies estimated from different sets of characters is pervasive. Phylogenetic conflict has become a more acute problem with the advent of genome scale data sets. These large data sets have confirmed that phylogenetic conflict is common and frequently the norm rather than the exception. Liliana Davalos et al. Understanding Phylogenetic Incongruence. Lessons from Philostomid Bats. Biological Reviews of the Cambridge Philosophical Society, 2012. Quote, Michael Sivanen, a biologist at the University of California at Davis, studied thousands of genes from various animals, hoping to find a tree-like pattern. He failed and summarized the results bluntly. We've just annihilated the tree of life. It's not a tree anymore, it's a different topology. Pattern of history entirely. What would Darwin have made of that? Sivanen, as quoted in Graham Lawton, Why Darwin Was Wrong About the Tree of Life, New Scientist, 2009. Quote, a major challenge for incorporating such large amounts of data into inference of species, trees, is that conflicting genealogical histories often exist in different genes throughout the genome. James Degnan, Noah Rosenberg, Gene Tree Discordance, Phylogenetic Inference, and the Multispecies Coalescent, Trends in Ecology and Evolution, 2009. Quote, The tree of life concept was absolutely central to Darwin's thinking, Equal in importance to natural selection, according to biologist W. Ford Doolittle of Dalhousie University in Halifax, Nova Scotia, Canada. Without it, the theory of evolution would never have happened. For a long time, the Holy Grail was to build a tree of life, says Eric Baptiste, an evolutionary biologist at the Pierre and Marie Curie University in Paris, France. A few years ago, it looked as though the Grail was within reach, but today the project lies in tatters torn to pieces by an onslaught of negative evidence. Many biologists now argue that the tree concept is obsolete and needs to be discarded. Graham Lawton, Why Darwin Was Wrong About the Tree of Life, New Scientist, 2009. Summary, it is more the norm than the exception that phylogenetic trees contradict each other. Morphological trees contradict gene trees. Single gene trees contradict morphological trees. Protein trees contradict morphological trees. Single gene trees contradict gene set trees. Single gene trees contradict whole genome trees. Gene set trees contradict whole genome trees. 
Non-coding gene trees contradict morphological trees. Conclusion. A single tree of life is one of the core predictions of naturalistic mega-evolution. However, this prediction has been falsified by the scientific evidence. And so, this falsifies naturalistic mega-evolution. Thanks to Michael Mote for compiling these quotes. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.